122 on that green. Kawasaki, the second rider in shot, Dylan Ferrandis. Lever still looking good, though, with ten and a half minutes to go. Ferrandis will certainly fancy his chances of getting up into the third position, at the very least, in this race. Tonus just behind him, bringing up the, uh, the, the top five. Valentin Guio, he will cross the line this time for the ninth time in second position on the standing construct KTM, which is now. So Fevre, 1.9 seconds clear of Guio, then 33, Lever, then Ferrandis, then Tonus. Tixier is, oh, I'll tell you what, Tixier's right there as well. So Tixier's done good to bridge that gap. And he is only a second behind Arnold Tonus now. So. We have gonna, we are gonna have a great battle on our hands, that's for sure. And there is Tixier in the background as Ferrandis looking to go around the outside. That's parked by 33 Libra. It gets squeezed as well. Nine and a half minutes plus two to go. We've got a race on, folks, because Julian Libra has been passed just a lap ago by. Valentin Cuyo gets pushed back to third, and Ferrandis now around the outside on that green Kawasaki, looking for a way through as well, and succeeds and moves into third place. So lap 10 then, and it's Bruma Fevre, 1.9 seconds clear of Valentin Cuyo. The 122 green Kawasaki from Ferrandis in third, Libra is fourth, Tonus in fifth, and just off the back of that group, bridging that gap to about a second now, here's Jordi Tixier in sixth position. So Tixier on the Red Bull KTM. He needs points if he wants to be world champion in Mexico. He cannot glitch it here this weekend. So suddenly, this battle here, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth of Guio, Ferrandis, Lieber, Tonus, and Tixier could possibly have a bearing on the championship classification. Suzuki and always wanted more and there's the battle here Covington and Tixier splits him and Siwa and goes through looking to go around the outside of Covington here as well gonna get the drag race oh, it's gonna be very tight down there he's gonna get squeezed and he does so Charlie just off the back of this group wow great line there from Tixier he crashed big time over this part of the racetrack yesterday that's why he had to push so hard but the good thing for him was he was able to find out where he could maybe overtake people but there's cold enough just dropping down the board well no he's still there in 11th place actually but Covington, Tixier, Charlier and Siwa and cold enough sorry there are the guys coming out of the trees here in front of the main grandstands Jordi Tixier knows this could be his year just needs to keep his focus. Well, this will certainly keep him focused. He's trying to push towards the front. Certainly less of a pressure situation for him than it would be if he was leading from the front. Thinking about points, thinking about championships. Just took a look over to his left there. Did Charlier take a sneaky look? No. So, Fevre, Lieber, Guio, Ferrandis, Geiser. They top five. Tonus is six, pulling away, and an easy maneuver up the inside there. So Covington just running wide, allowing enough space for Tixier to nip up the inside and take that seventh position. So we've got four laps complete, and Tixier now up into seventh place. And Charlier goes down the inside of the American, and Siwa looking for a way through as well at the bottom there. But Siwa maybe going to have to go wide and square off and get a straight run through the rhythm section here difficult waves there because they're on the turn and the, the tops of those waves are starting to cup out a little bit. Two Suzuki's though, pretty much together there behind Thomas Covington. So Glenn Koldenhoff maybe just thinking about lining up here. That was the move. Tixier turned a little bit tighter so it wasn't as such that Covington ran wide. It was just a better line for Tixier. He's now in seven.
Tixier about to get squeezed by a back marker. Looks over his shoulder, does move out of the way. But Tixier still going after Lieber. Possible move coming here. Oh, back end gets loose of Julian Lieber there. Just wicked kick there from him coming out of that right hander. Great performance. Oh, mistake. He hits a neutral as well. Or maybe just lost his momentum, had to change it down a gear. Tixier having to work super hard here. Now he forces it up the inside. And the Red Bull KTM rider goes through and takes fifth away on what would be lap 14. So your top five then now looks like this. Roman Fevre leads on the Wilvo Nastan factory Husqvarna. Dylan Ferrandez, CLS Kawasaki Monster Energy is second. His teammate Nana Tonus is in third place. Those guys separated by seven seconds. Lieber taking a look over his shoulder, realized the danger. Tixier charged through and took fifth away from the Belgian.